Mamma Mia, here we go again. For the first time ever, the Niagara region is being treated to the hit musical Mamma Mia, being performed by the Port Colburn Operatic Society. Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist ya? Mama Mia. It revolves around a wedding, uh, the wedding of a young girl named Sophie, who has been raised by a single mom on a Greek island in this idyllic place. And she decides that she would really like to know who her father is, though her mother has never revealed his identity to her. So she puts in motion kind of a confusing setup because she invites three men that might possibly be her father to her wedding. And the thing that you come away with once you've seen this show is that sense that family is really important and that people overcome all kinds of hurdles in life. And the overall feeling is incredibly positive. Now, this being the first showing of Mamma Mia in Niagara overall, uh, what has that experience been like? Well, it was very exciting right from the beginning. You know, when we first found out that we got the rights to do it, the buzz was pretty amazing. We had, I think, over 100 people apply to be in the show. So I don't know if that's a record for PCOS, but it's, that's a lot of people. So currently there are 60 people in the show, which is quite a few. But because it's community theater, we tried to find a place for people to, to shine on stage. Could you tell us a little bit about your character and what has you so invested in the role? So I play Donna Sheridan, the mom. Uh, she is an amazing character, very, um, very independent woman, female icon of rock independence is kind of what they, they say. Um, and I think it's all the layers of this character. She is a very feisty, independent woman, yet still has this soft side that just yearns for, for love, uh, lost love. And um, she's just very invested in her daughter. And I think that that will speak to many, many women in the crowd as well. Um, and I think for this role, my favorite part too are the, uh, the amazing songs I get to sing. I mean, just some amazing, amazing ABBA tunes that, like, who doesn't want to sing those songs, right? So uh, that, that would be my favorite thing uh, about that. I get to be up there belting out those tunes every night. Caitlin, could you tell us a little bit about your role in the show, Mamma Mia? I play Sophie Sheridan. She is daughter to Donna Sheridan, and it's about her journey to find her father after she finds out that her mom had kind of a fun time as a young adult, and she has three possible dads, so she invites them all to find out which one, and the show unfolds from there. It is classified as a jukebox musical, which means it's a lot of music. So compared to most Broadway musicals, there's probably approximately 10 to 12 more songs than we're used to having to learn. So, of course, they're ABBA songs, so they're familiar and people love them. But there's a lot of complex harmony. The chorus is very busy in this show because they provide backup vocals in virtually every song. And with opening night just a couple weeks away, what are your hopes for the start of the show? Well, I'm hoping that, you know, it meets everybody's expectations. And I'm confident that it will. We, as I mentioned, we have an amazing cast. It's a great story. It's uh, wonderful music. People automatically are attracted to it. So I'm hoping for the energy and the excitement that it deserves. Mamma Mia opens at Lakeshore Catholic High School Saturday, February 22nd. For tickets and more information, visit portcolburnoperaticsociety.com. From Port Colburn, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.